You basically have three vein wheels. It's filled with ATF, the automatic transmission fluid. The impeller revolves from transmitted crank power. The fluid pushes outward and then onto the turbine making it revolve. The turbine is connected to the input shaft of your transmission. Your transmission, which your transmission and then your long shaft that goes underneath your car, your drive shaft, your torque converter, transmission, and then your drive shaft, and then to your differential, and then to your suspension parts, and to your tires. Now the stator, it almost completely reverses the fluid. It can only spin in the opposite direction of the, of the fluid. It, it's a, there's a one-way clutch in there, and it's it's pretty it's pretty tricky the way the clutch operates with the stator because the stator is fixed you know hence the word static stator now the downside to this is there's a to the automatic transmission is there's a difference in speeds of your engine crankshaft moving revolving and your transmission turning and revolving there's a differences in speed which is it wastes power so that's one advantage the, the manual transmission has over the automatic. To kind of compensate for this, sometimes a damper equipped lockup clutch is installed insi inside here to negate those effects. And researchers are even working on an, an elliptical torque converter, which um, is pretty cool. Let's uh, try check that out. Okay, a torque converter converts torque from your engine. Your engine's crankshaft is revolving, translating its energy, and ultimately it goes through your torque converter, which converts the torque, as the name implies. It converts that torque into wheels, ultimately for your wheel. The torque converter is a type of fluid coupling it's a type of fluid coupling device. It's a it uses your automatic transmission fluid to move some spinning wheels and static wheels. Stator. Now, the four components of the torque converter are a pump which which is right here, this area right here, the pump which is basically an an uh, impeller. The stator, which is housed in the middle, it stays stationary. Only at high speeds does it move. The fins don't move. The whole thing moves, revolves. It's, it's, it's stationary, but the whole thing moves only at high speeds. It's basically a one-way clutch. Anyway, the third is the transmission fluid, which is everywhere inside your torque converter. And the fourth is the turbine, which is this area right here. It's this interaction of the stator and the one-way clutch inside of it that allows the fluid to not return back to the pump, which would slow the vehicle down dramatically. This centrifugal-like pump impeller, when the fluid it causes a, when the fluid is in here, it gets flung to the outside like a like in a washing machine. It gets flung to the outside in a centrifugal like manner. And this creates a vacuum in the middle which makes the fluid go into the middle and go towards the turbine. And these blades are made in such a way that when the fluid enters the turbine, it hits those blades and it makes the blades of the turbine spin, which ultimately uh, makes your transmission. It's connected by the shaft inside here. The turbine output connects to the transmission which moves your wheels eventually. And the stator has an output shaft right here which it's connected to a fixed part, a fixed shaft of the transmission. Your flywheel right here is connected with the engine's crankshaft so it turns when the engine's crankshaft when the engine's making the crankshaft turn it's making the the flywheel turn together so you have your engine 
your torque converter, and then your transmission. All right, that's a torque converter. I hope this helped you guys out. Uh, if you have any questions or comments or criticisms about the videos, leave the comments below. All right, just uh, critique below. Thumb up, thumb down, and just uh, woohoo! <laughs>